29 November 2023. Hey, today's uh, video, short little video, maybe just some rant. We'll talk about my daily struggle, now my daily hobby of CPU mining with NiceHash. We'll give an update. Uh, you're looking at the screen right now. We'll uh, go over some Bitcoin stuff and maybe touch into some equity index fund stuff and just look at my current stocks I own and what they're doing uh, today's um, prices. Not much in the news. What is today? Anyway, Wednesday. Uh, nothing new on the uh, on the Bitcoin ETF stuff. But anyway, let's dive into it. I have the six CPU rigs still running. One kind of restarted, so you really have to monitor it. You will see. I'm going to use. I'm old school here today, man. I got the phone pointing at the screen because my stupid OBS software no longer works on my Mac. Never update. If you don't have to update software, don't. Because it breaks things. It really does. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, Macs are all right. They're overpriced junk, to be honest. You drop it once, it breaks. And then they get their screen replaced as a, like 1500 bucks. Wait a minute. <laughs> the, the freaking computer costs 3000 Where you can buy a PC, like these CPU rigs, are pretty much you can run Linux on them. And you don't need a freaking case either. If you want to put them in a case, buy a, <clears throat> you can buy a $50 case. And boom, you're good to go. Anyway, we got this running right now. You should monitor your rigs if they're running. Look on here. You may see like no reports coming in or something like that. Uh, I also am remote desktop in. So if I click on the tab using Google remote desktop, check it out. It's a nice way to do it. It's like, um, oh, I forget. Oh, there's a software we use for uh, uh, application for software development. Oh, it was Windows. Team meeting, team meeting, something like that. I go in and I check and I see if there's any errors or if it restarted. One of the rigs did restart and it came back with that MSR mod rate. I don't know why. So I paused it, waited like five seconds, started back up. Boom, no more MSR mod rate. I don't know what's going on. If it's a race condition, I have all the permissions set. It's just one of those annoyances to make pennies a day. So again, how much is your time worth? Do you want to chase that thing down that rabbit hole? Yeah, that's that's what you got to think. How much, How much? Uh, what is it saying? Is the juice worth the squeeze? Am I going to spend an hour just to fix that? I can just click the button a couple times and be done and uh, go back to eating ice cream or walking around the neighborhood. All right, so here we have the six rigs. This uh, profitability keeps fluctuating. And you also, guys, can get the nice hash app on your phone, on your smart device, which, uh, which is a misnomer, I don't know, it, on your smartphone, whatever, and you can check your stuff there. So right now, <clears throat> last night it was about 11 bucks. It keeps fluctuating, which is fine. Uh, that is to be expected. The FOMO is kicking in. More people are probably turning on rigs and mining, and that drops the uh, profitability down for others. Uh, we are at 7 now. Like I said, last night it was 11 12 bucks, And we can go through the hash rates. As you see the breakdown, <clears throat> got my 3900 12 core processors. Most of the five of these are 3900 X's, Ryzen 9 12 core processors. Do I have them all completely set up correctly? I don't know. I'm learning daily as to do this. Like I said, the most recent mod was to add at least two memory sticks per rig. Some only had two, a couple, I think three, three had two sticks. The rest just had one each. Made a big difference, especially especially on this 3950 right here. It went from like 6 kilo hash per second up to 1433. I was wondering why this puppy was underperforming. It's just, it was memory bound. So, eh, there you live and learn. All right, so we got the 3900X, 12.74 kilo hash. Temperature, I'm working on that, guys. I am working on it. I, I'm just too lazy. I just don't want to stop it and take the thing off and uh, put on new thermal paste. I think that'll solve it. And then get the rest of the dust bunnies out. Eh. I'll get to it. <laughs> I can't be bothered. But I will eventually get bothered and, and uh, make a change. If I can find thermal paste. I might have a tube. I'm going to check for that after this video. And then I'll bring it down and pop the puppy off and put some on. Yeah, now that I said it. See, I just motivated myself. Team motivation. All right. Motivational speaking by uh, Bitcoin Jim. No, not Bitcoin Ben. All right. Uh, the second one is at 12.66. So all pretty close together. Uh, what's the next one? 11.99. Again, they do fluctuate up and down between 
like high high 11s and 13. The 3950 has more uh, juice in it, and I'm getting 14.3 kilo hashers. Oh, the last one, same, 3900X, 12 core at 12.12. And over here, you can see the probability. <clears throat> Man, I am clogged up. Got cold air in here today. All right, 6048, big difference. I mean, it does fluctuate. I need to look at Rocco 8. I don't know why that's, it's got the right kilohash, but the probability, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know why it's less. I got it. I'm lazy. I need to start digging into it. And that's why I do the videos too. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Uh, that's why I do these videos too, because then I get people chiming in and say, hey, dude, have you done this? Have you done this? I love it, man. Community support, help each other. And that's how you learn. Um, yeah, help your bros, help your sisters, right? Let's see. We're at over, about, let's see, we're Wednesday. Let's say a week now, running on and off. I've had to turn the rigs off now and then when I leave because I don't like to let the rigs run if i'm going to be gone for a long period of time just paranoid you know don't want to come back to a burning down house you got to be cautious especially if you're on gp money be very careful 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 your homeowners or your apartment insurance or whoever you're doing it may not cover that your gpu mining in your house just you know one stupid screw up and you're you're gonna lose everything uh let's see 75 40 big big schmackaroos and again that is all based on the uh, daily fluctuations of Bitcoin. You're getting paid in Bitcoin, and what's in your wallet will go up and down based on the price of Bitcoin. Does that make sense? It's not a fixed price you got. <clears throat> it's the fixed amount of Bitcoin you're getting, but as Bitcoin goes up and down, your wallet value is going to go up and down. Let's, uh, ju let's just hope it keeps going up. I hate when things go down. Usually when I buy a stock, boom, minus 20%, and you're sitting there for your going, damn it. <laughs> You know, you're sitting on, you're sitting holding the bag. And then what are you going to do? You're going to sell and take the loss? Eh, no, just wait till it breaks even. Lesson learned and get in an index 500 fund. Speaking of which, let's jump over to that. Blammo, 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 blammo. Stocks. Again, this is my little Apple app. I do not like Apple. I am anti-Apple, but I have Apple products. Go figure. My phone is old. Uh, my smartphone. And my, my MacBook is... Three, oh my god it's almost six years old now and i dropped it right when i got it right, hit right on the corner on a rug in a, in a hotel and it cracked the screen i went you piece of crap apple do not oh my god never buy apple products i swear to god get get your android samsung phone uh and get a freaking uh lenova or even a Dell laptop running, you know, whatever you want. You can run Ubuntu, Linux, or you can, whatever, or Windows if you want to. If you want to deal with Windows, no more Apple products for me. I am done. I got this thing right now with the display broken. I have three displays on this MacBook running basically as a workstation. Uh, I can't use this. But I can barely see it. There's a big crack and it's all screwed up. The keyboard's nice, but I can't use it. It's closed, so I have three displays running off that puppy, and it's been going. It's been running duct tape like that for five years now it's <laughs> i'm determined to get as much life out of this piece of crap as i can it's like a rental car i'm gonna beat it to death and get as much mileage out of it as i can based on the money i put into it and i will never ever ever get another mac apple product plus they have sweat shop, sweatshops in, in china and that's mean they're just mean people all right let's go uh, let's see. So we got the Bitcoin right here up 347. I think that's a 24 hour window. I think because it, it, yeah, it was at 38,000 last night, 38,100. I was watching it thinking, oh, should I put another couple bucks in? You know, I am big now on dollar cost averaging. That's how I started investing. Uh, I dollar cost average in, uh, in my employee stock fund for paycheck. And the best advice I got in my 20s from an older older lady there, real nice, she goes, put as much into the employee stock purchase plan as you can painfully handle. And that was the best advice ever. That allowed me to afford a house, a nice house uh, down the road. Anyway, but if you're investing in dividend stocks, you should not touch your core position. You really basically want to reinvest dividends and live off those dividends down the road. Thinking long term, guys. Get getting rich quick is for the guys on these uh, on these Instagrams. I don't know. 
and they don't seem to be living really that great if you watch some of the people that I don't know, say they got rich quick. If they're really wealthy and rich, they're not going to be making YouTube channels, trust me. <laughs> like Bitcoin Ben and that. It's like, come on, man. What is up with this? You got take everything on YouTube as pure entertainment. Unless you're kind of doing a DIY project, uh, auto stuff, home improvement, you know, uh, handyman stuff. That's value. So YouTube is AIDS and social, socialists and authoritarian. They listen to the government to shut you down. But the good piece of it, it is kind of educational. And there are some good videos to find. The rest is just crap. And take it as such. You, um, Bitcoin channels, crypto investing channels. There's a lot of crap out there. And retirement stuff too. It's all multiple variable situations. One solution does not fit your, your, uh, your needs. So you can go and absorb all the information and then use your critical thinking skills, which you should have, and make your own decision. I strongly recommend that. You know, do your own research. And by that mean, go look around, see what other people are saying. Uh, doubt everything you see, but verify. I'm being honest. There's so many scams out there now. Some people just bullshitting for clicks. Me, I'm telling you. This is a hobby. Crypto mining is just a hobby. I had the rigs off for a year, gathering dust. That's where so many dust bunnies on them. Oh, that's it. I'm going to go buy. No, I don't want to go buy compressed air today. Screw it. I'm not going to spend any money on this crap. I'm running with what I have. Nothing out of pocket. I have not bought any hardware. I've been scavenging other pieces. And like I said, I even built a Roblox uh, workstation for the uh, kids so you can play Roblox. It was just a, it's just a motherboard with an AMD 5, Ryzen 5 sitting on it with a 3600 just a 6600 just sitting there gathering dust boom instant pc without a case <laughs> it's up there running so that's how you do it man if you go cheap go frugal go minimalist man just don't spend any more on that money any money on this crap you'll never you will never get your money back then when you try to flip your stuff as we've been talking about i should do a whole ebay thing go through the whole process you have a nice expensive gpu or a motherboard you try to sell on ebay first of all They'll take 14%. Blammo. 14% Big Daddy. Big Daddy. They take that. Sure, they're providing a service, but holy crap, 14%. Do you want to use Facebook Marketplace? Hell no. Scammers on there too. They'll try to um, watch out for the scam where they say, well, I'll give you Venmo now and uh, just so I can hold it. That's a scam. They're trying to trick you. Cash, cash, cash. Cash, cash, cash. Cash, cash, cash. Always say that. Stick to your rules. Your requirements do not let people try to manipulate you. That's when they're scamming you. I want cash. I want to meet you here. And then you may get robbed. So, so having said that, the 14% of eBay is not looking too bad. Then you get the buyers that try to scam you. I never received a JPU. I never received it. Then they do a chargeback, a complaint, a dispute on eBay. eBay never sides, never, never, never sides with the seller because they think you're rich, but you're not because you're broke because you're paying eBay fees. And now you're being scammed by the damn eBay buyers on there. And the way to get around that is if someone buys something for you, you're selling a GPU, first of all, if you're going to ship it to them, make sure, you know, I think eBay now requires it too. They realize there's a scam. Anything over 700 bucks, you got to get signature required and uh, insurance. I would get insurance too on your UPS. Don't ship USPS ever because you can't really track it. You don't know where the hell it is. And again, those are government workers who do not give a royal shit about their jobs they're looking for their pensions and they're waiting to get to 65 and get taken out of their job in a body bag because that's all they care about go to ups those guys are paid well they're little they work their asses off and uh they do allow for tracking intercepting a package signature guarantees uh, just so much better it's worth it uh, yeah you got to do that and you got to make sure when they do buy check the buyer on ebay you check when they join you can check when they sign up for eBay, and if they have no feedback <clears throat> for themselves, really, even as a buyer or seller, if, if they're, first of all, if they're newly signed up, it's a scam. Do not sell it, cancel it, say broken, I'm not selling to you, you're a scammer. Don't even tell them that. They're probably some guy in Russia just trying to rob your money. Um, and or no feedback, no. I don't trust you, man. You're gonna scam me. Blam, 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 blam. So just be careful out there. It's uh, People want your money. They want to take the money out of your wallet and put it in their pockets. That's that's number. That's the world, man. That is the world. Love it or love it or hate it. That is the game. All right, enough of that BS. Uh, we got Bitcoin holding here at thirty-seven eight. I like to see it drop again because I want to buy in, keep dollar cost averaging. I should now at this pace. Let's see. We got it right here. Let's zoom in. Can I zoom in? 
Hey, I'm not. I'm supposed to zoom in, you stupid Ma Apple product. All right, now I got to go to Yahoo Finance. Uh, I thought you could zoom in on this stupid thing. They don't even give you the date. Oh, wait, there we do. All right, September 4th. Let's do this. So October, it was down in September. Bing, bing. September, October, November. I think, based on what I am seeing, look at the spreads here. Dollar cost averaging on a monthly basis may be a nice way to flatten this puppy out and increase your uh, returns over time. I've, I've been doing it kind of semi, like bi-weekly, whenever I see a price drop. And I usually only will now do it if this is red right here. I don't want to buy when it's going up because you're paying a little bit above the spot price on Fidelity. They, they tack on a couple bucks. Probably just has the fee base crap. But uh, that's just the way it is too. So always get it on the red. You get a discount. And uh, yeah, remember Warren Buffett, you want to buy when there is a fear in the streets or blood in the streets, whatever. That's the old saying. All right, we're still recording. Good. All right, that is pretty much the uh, summary on the current mining state, 7540 in there. I'm just letting that ride. Maybe donate that to charity or just let it, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not, I'm going to let it ride. I'm going to hold on to it and turn that into, just keep holding Bitcoin, big daddy. <clears throat> keep holding Bitcoin. Um, and where did my page go? Hold on. Hold on. All right, some other things I always talk about is this Fidelity Index 500 fund. Uh, someone made a comment about, yeah, afraid to sell stuff on eBay. I agree. Uh, what I did, I did sell my crap on eBay, took the massive hit, had almost one scam, got, got, a re got returned a, uh, a nice 3070 Ti. Hard to get, GP. What an idiot. He doesn't, the guy didn't know what he was doing. He, it was perfectly fine. He couldn't get to work on his system. Over, he just had no fucking clue how to do things. Do not buy stuff you don't understand. Don't spend... 700 bucks on a GPU and not know how to freaking configure it, install it. Hey, what a tool. It just cost me shipping and just cost me more stress. So I always tell people now, if you don't know what the hell you're doing, do not buy from me. Go buy elsewhere. Uh, it's just I don't need the time. I don't need to waste the time on your, your uh, stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be direct with people today. Otherwise, they'll become a time suck. And time you do not get back, folks. Tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. It's going fast. All right. <clears throat> Look at all Ethereum. I hate Ethereum. Um, Litecoin. Freaking Litecoin. I hate you even more. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, look at Doji. Eight cents. Woo. I want to see a dollar Doji coin. <laughs> oh, I got Tesla. Tesla does, <clears throat> does not pay a dividend. And that sucks because I'm holding. I'm probably down. I think I'm down 10%, 15% on this, this bastard. So hopefully they'll come back. I didn't buy them for a car company. I bought them because uh, they are a technology company. So let's hope that keeps holding true. Uh, these are all just little shitty things I bought. I was just playing with. <clears throat> Here's the Index 500 fund. The goal here, I've talked to several people. I, I kind of meet clients and stuff. And some are financial advisors. I and mean, one guy was getting ready to retire. Uh, was a conservative guy living, of all places, in... Uh, horrible lefty LA area. And uh, he did tell me, he goes, he goes, all you need to do, he says, you know, I would lose all my clients if I told him this. All you need to do, based on his 30 plus years of experience, get in an index 500 for an S&P index 500 fund. This is what I say too. They cover the big chip, you know, the meta, the alphabets, uh, Amazons, Microsoft, uh, maybe Boeing. Uh, what is else in there? Uh, Tesla is in there, I think, too. They cover the puppies you can buy individually. And they work and manage it. You're paying a, a manager. You're not paying them because their job is to keep the fund productive. Picking the ones, dropping the losers, that type of crap. Manage the funds. But you're not paying anything because the FXAIX. And I know Vanguard has the same thing. I don't like Schwab accounts because they were douchebags to me years ago. Uh, but FXAIX is a no transaction fee, low cost fund. I'm not paying anything when I buy and sell. That's what's beautiful. And there's no management fee. It's just they want you in there because I think it's a gateway for them. They figure once you're in here, you'll start buying other stuff which have 
fees and that, and that's when they'll make their money, which is fine. But I'm in an index 500, S&P 500. The goal is dollar cost average. And if you're getting a paycheck every two weeks, dump money in there automatically. <clears throat> Over time, set the dividends to be reinvested every quarter, capital gains. I think this pays a capital gain as well. Uh, just reinvest. It's, and then look up compounding on investopedia.com. Look up compounding, dollar cost averaging. You will see the magic of it. And you just set and forget. And over time, you will be pleased if you live that long. Like, I'm talking at least 10, 15 years. And you'll start seeing, oh my God, this is becoming something. And then 20 years down the road, you get closer to your retirement or you want to stop working. It doesn't matter what age. You know, stopping working means quitting the job you hate, the uh, toxic environment, the cubicle rat. No windows, no cell phone. You know, just the, the toxic humanity you work with inside of an office these days is unbearable. So then the goal of retirement is not just sitting home watching Netflix. You'll die within a year because you'll be so bored. Uh, or sitting on a beach. Beaches are boring. Oh, dear God. Trust me. Uh, having lived in a beach town where I do now, right? Boring. You want to go do something you enjoy. You can start your own business. You have the financial freedom to do whatever you want. You go work for someone else again if you want part-time. That's fine if you enjoy it, knowing that you don't have a responsibility to show up, make a couple bucks, go back, or do your own thing. I'd say do your own thing, but don't invest all your money because you won't be able to be retired long. And then uh, try to get, your, the big thing is medical health care coverage. You might be able to get that ACA stuff I'm learning more about, the old Obamacare. Socialism at its best, but hey, if it works, you might be able to get it. Do not get Cobra. You'll go broke within a, within a couple months. It, way overpriced crap. What a ripoff. Our country does suck as it comes to health care. It, it's just a pain in the ass. Uh, but look at ACA, and that's one thing. Anyway, big rant. Big rant talking about it, uh, investing, but that's what I would do over time with the index money. Take your money. Again, crypto, in my honest opinion, being new yet, unstable what the big boys want to do with it. BlackRock wants to get in there with their ETF. Uh, Fidelity now, like I said, will let you buy crypto through their uh, accounts, which is amazing. Uh, they hold it again. I always say this. They're, they hold the keys, so not your keys, not your coins. So you don't, you paid for them, but you, they can lock them down. You won't get them. So you got to be careful there. But again, small investment, small percentage of your portfolio under 10%, please God, do not put a more in, in hardware or buying Bitcoin. And uh, yeah, just be smart about it. Because you can only always, is it only? You can always lose everything. <laughs> you really can. It's, it's, it's the uh, red pill, the truth. Yeah, uh, what else? Yeah, so watch that. And I always say, don't buy stuff you do not need. You, don't need. you do not need a McMansion. You do not need a shiny new car. What a waste of money. Your neighbors do not care. They're not going to be impressed. They're going to be more jealous or um, more snide to, oh, why is he spending a BMW or a Tesla? It's like, hindsight, I didn't need my little McMansion. I didn't need my little Tesla. What a waste of money and time. Just give me a 10-year-old uh, pickup truck. with an, I need AC, you know, even a manual baby. Because if you have a manual vehicle, manual with a clutch, that's an auto theft, an auto theft. That's an anti-theft auto device because no one knows how to drive a stick shift anymore. So these, these thugs jump in trying to steal your truck. Oh, don't watch your pedal. You know, they're going to freak out. You know, they're not going to do it. They don't know how to change tire today. So how the frick are they going to figure out how to do a manual shift? <laughs> so I never buy another car. I will never buy another car. I swear. Let these, let these trucks I got now rust out completely. Uh, you know, but then again, why should they? If you have any freaking DIY common sense, maintain them, keep them in shape, but don't go broke. You know, tires, brakes, all the basic oil, all that goody stuff. <clears throat> that is all I got to say. Oh, man, the rant is over. That's enough. I don't want to bore you guys. But sometimes people love to hear people rant. Ranting is good for the soul. So I advise if you want to have fun ranting, just pop up in a freaking iPhone or, a, or your Samsung. Set up an account on the YouTubers and Rumble. Because uh, YouTube is, is bad. They are very bad authoritarians. If you don't go with their uh, talking points or ideology, they will shut you down. If you say something against what they believe is right. 
they don't care and they got those damn bots and their their engineers really suck they're not the, they're like the lowest rung because they underpay them so yeah their their uh, ai algorithm bullcrap is uh is just garbage and the secret to the algorithm is are people watching the video that is the secret people try to mysticize the youtube algorithm oh my god it's all the variables and equations when the full moon is here and the tides are low no is it a video that people are watching i make crappy videos but i'm just trying to keep it real uh not shilling anything i'm not even monetized uh i'm just putting this crap out there because it's kind of fun it's a, again it's a hobby related to the crypto crap right is it going to be life-changing no it's just fun man do what you enjoy and if you enjoy it it's not it's not work right you know unless you're working for someone else and you know, you're still working for someone else it's a job j-o-b which means just over broke. This is fun. It's a hobby. Go do it. And maybe this dumb channel becomes monetized. I don't know. This couple of videos have helped people. And uh, I always say if you are helped in any way by the stupid content I provide in my stupid voice uh, and my mumbling and my rants, I have a link below in the description. Buy me a coffee. Hey, appreciation goes a long way, big daddies. And uh, that is all I got. Oh, I'm going to go. I might go to Home Depot. I need to buy... Something like for nine bucks, a little headlamp to see at night. Yeah, a rechargeable one. I'm learning, just get a USB-C rechargeable anything. Flashlight, headlight, screw these batteries, baby. No more no more freaking uh, throwaway batteries. All right, man, go forth, do great things. I will talk to you later. I'll probably put out a video. I'm going to keep putting out videos starting with this stupid uh, CPU mining on ice hash 76 bucks total 879 daily as of we speak it'll go up later and I just I'm just tracking the journey and see where this goes <laughs> all right I'm out bye